So this truck is our engine truck, just like you would see on a traditional fire department. We have our engine. This will be manned by multiple people, at least three people at all times. Inside is our driver operator's compartment. The driver operator is in charge of this vehicle uh, for the safety of the individuals and also getting water to the firefighters for putting out a fire in an incident. All our toggle and switches up here are for our emergency lights. And it's not like a traditional car where the turnkey, you have an ignition, or it's a battery, then ignition, and then you hit the start to fire up an engine. Probably loud and you probably don't want that. In the back is where the rear step guy will be sitting, hit job. And a traditional asset would be to go tag a hydrant, or when we say tag a hydrant, get out, get all the stuff to the hydrant, grab the large diameter hose, wrap the hydrant, and have the driver operator and the crew chief drive off to the scene of the fire. So he has a very important job, and unfortunately he has to walk a little bit further to the fire scene because he has to catch up. Our first compartment right here, which is in most fire departments, is our pump fire pump operator compartment has all our different adapters and equipment and quick uh, short pony shots for hoses in case we need it. Uh, in case we don't want to pull out 100 feet of hose, we have different size hoses, 25, 50 feet to do a quick connect. Over here in this compartment is our EMS, EMS compartment. Because we are first responders, we get called to pretty much every incident on any type of military base or outside and we have to perform first aid to people. Uh, whether that's life state CPR or not, we're all certified as a CPR uh, EMR, which is an emergency responder. Back here is our tools and equipment. We have some aircraft chalks and we also have some pinning devices down low, uh, saws, drill bits, in case we have to remove any panels on aircrafts. Uh, hand tools are all here our life jackets in case we have to do a water rescue and extra uh, SCBA bottles up here in case you run out of air during the incident. Our rear compartment is one of our most important compartments. We have a hydrant bag. So we would take this bag off, the rear step guy would come off, grab this bag and our uh, hydrant assist valve along with our LDH is under this cover. Uh, he would set up the hydrant and tell the driver operator and the crew chief that he's all set for them to drive forward. We also have some ladders, A-frame ladder. Um, there is a basketball in there for when we have to do any type of drafting. It helps stop the whirlpool effect once we get down low on water. So that's why it's kind of in there. On this side, we have our extension ladder. It's a 24-foot extension ladder with a 12-foot roof ladder behind it. Uh, so if we have to grab access to a roof, that's one of our main go-to ways. We have our hydraulic tools right here for cutting, spreading, and cutting, shear, cutting separating, and extending. Uh, in case of mold vehicle accident, these are a little bit different because they are battery operated versus a hydraulic system, which most departments have. They're great because you don't have the hydraulic lines behind you and they have, operate at the same cutting and sharing points as a normal hydraulic system would. We have an exhaust fan to expel any type of smoke or anything that could be in the building once we need it. We have airbag system as well for lifting over here in this compartment. We have more of our RIT bags and stuff like that. So RIT, uh, Rapid Intervention Team, uh, any type of fire incident, we'll have at least a two-man team designated to RIT. Their main job is to get any type of down firefighter that might come out. So if there's a down firefighter, they're taking this bag in, which is an SCBA bottle and face piece, uh, so they can hook it up to the down firefighter in case they have an air supply problem. Their also job is to get in there if there's a lost firefighter to get them out safely. This compartment right here is all our saws, our chainsaws, and our K-12 uh, used to make roof ventilations or any type of cutting that we need. We also have uh, some spill pads because this apparatus goes to every type of incident that we have on the space, whether it's medical, structural, or aircraft 
is gonna roll onto that seam, um, extra padding in case there's a fuel spill or any fuels, liquids down from a car accident. Along with our water cans and our ABC dry chem extinguishers. Water intakes on this side with our 100 foot trash line connection. Uh, we call it a trash line because it's exposed to the elements at all times. So it's there for a quick knockdown or we don't need 200 feet, we only need 100 feet of water hose line. We have that capability right there. And this is where the crew chief would sit. He's the officer of the truck. He has control of the, the comms and anything that he needs, uh, maps, directions. He's in charge of the overall personnel of the truck. The driver over has the overall safety of the truck. So they work hand in hand. You have to be a good team to make a good engine.